In this video, I'm going to show you how one can relativize a, a pop-up. In this case, I'm going to um, use a VAV graphic. So let's go ahead and bring um, a piece of equipment onto our stage. And let's go ahead and bring in two text components. Just duplicate these. And I'm going to just bind some data. So I'm going to bring a unit name to my first text component. I'm going to bring in room temperature data point. And I'm going to choose Fahrenheit as my for format. Next, uh, within my VAV symbol, I have damper, damper position and heating. So let's go ahead and bind our damper position data point. and also heating. I actually don't have heating, so I'm going to use occupancy, which is going to give me a true and false value as well. So let's just go ahead and select all of our components that are going to comprise our pop-up. And let's go ahead and right-click and just choose group. And just right-click and after grouping and go inside data flow. Um, and Within data flow, we're going to choose data services, and we're just going to drag over a relativize case block. Select, so our properties show up on the right-hand side. Bring over, uh, drag over the folder in which uh, those um, data points are, um, in which those data points reside inside. Hit enter. Now click on relativize output, and select um, every component that you choose to um, be relativized. In this case, I'm going to select all because it's going to be all the components. And right when I click on relativize, you'll see that the paths become dynamic and the points get stripped out to, to their name. And to make sure that this actually does relativize correctly, we can just go ahead and change the VAV folder and we can see that it is changing. Good. So let's go ahead and convert this to a symbol and we're going to say that this is VAV pop-up. Click OK. Make sure that's in our symbols. It does show as VAV pop-up. Now let's go ahead and um, create a symbol property um, that's going to drive our relativization uh, block um, outside the symbol um, available to us right here. So let's go ahead and right click and choose edit symbol. Let's go up to modify, edit properties, drag in a string and rename the string to relative path. And let's just close this and make sure that actually creates a string outside available to us in our symbol panel, which it does. So let's go back into our symbol now. And now let's bring up our symbol properties and also right click and open up our group data flow. Click on relativize case block so that way we see the properties here. And just bind our symbol property to the path of the relativization block that's being driven. Now what we're doing here is um, that property that we created that's available to us, it's, it's going to be driven, uh, it's going to drive the relativization block now. So let's go ahead and bring a VAV folder over here and then hit enter. And we can just rename here and we can see that it is relativized. Check out the next video. It's going to demonstrate how to drive a, a relativized pop-up um, through a set of repeaters.